Hello and welcome to Give and Take, the positives in life. And today's topic is class act in music. And so here we have a wonderful guest who will introduce herself and tell us all about the great things that she's doing in her life. So welcome. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Miss Irene Renee. I go, that's my stage name pretty much. Um, I am an independent recording artist, so I sing, I do songwriting. Um, I uh, released my first album called Serendipitous Experience okay. in 2013. I just recently released my sophomore album mm -hmm. um, a month ago. Uh, June 30th. Okay. And so it's called Ubiquitous Soul. Okay, lovely. So, yeah, okay. So, so um, I met you, had the pleasure of meeting you. I caught the, the end of your wonderful act. And um, it was a, a great song. We're not going to go into that because we'll show that later on. But um, you were singing, and I said, wow, mm. she should be great for the show. <laughs> And so when you were saying, am I out there scouting? No, I just go and I just yes, run into yes, people right. in different, um, mm -hmm. you know, venues and locations mm -hmm. and it just fits so perfectly. Okay. And so um, just if you want to share a little bit about how you got started into the music industry. Well, um, you know, all singers say um, I've been singing since my mother's womb, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, so my, my story is a little different. You know, when I started out, like my first... Um, singing um it wasn't a recital it was just like easter day my sister my older sister she got m me and my other sister who were both younger but anyway she um we were supposed to sing this little light of mine okay. on sunday mm -hmm. i chickened out <laughs> i left my sister there to do it by herself uh so that was my first bout of stage fright but as time went on, I did more um, shows uh, in church, okay. little plays, mm -hmm. than high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one thing that sticks out um, in my mind that really made me want to sing was uh, in the ninth grade, uh, a young lady was singing a classmate. And she, she just, I don't know, she blew me away. Mm. And I went home and I tried to practice that song in the basement. <laughs> and I was just wailing and wailing and singing the song. And my mother was in the kitchen cooking and she yelled down, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so that should have discouraged me, but it didn't. Excellent. Um, so, you know, I kept practicing. Um, I think by the time I was in a, so a sophomore, um, I auditioned for like a school talent show. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of people saying that they loved how I sang and Lovely. people were pulling me aside, sing the song for me or whatever. Mm -hmm. So um, so that just started everything. And then, you know, life happened. Mm -hmm. um, went to college, graduated, um, started singing around in local bands. Okay. And actually my first job that I took, uh, it was in Birmingham, Alabama. Oh. And so I got caught in a downsizing thing. Um, and so I had the, you know, the, uh, my options were open to where I wanted to move. So I said, let me jump on the opportunity that I had to move to New York. Okay. But it was upstate New York. Mm -hmm. And I, um, with some friends, we would journey down to Manhattan and mm -hmm. start singing at, you know, the open mics. And um, that just, it just kind of grew. And then I met people and networked and started singing in bands. Mm -hmm. And it just grew from there. And Excellent. then I got the courage to, you know, actually do something independent as far as being a, a legitimate recording artist. Hmm, excellent, and I have to say you are um, wonderful, very talented, and uh, I had the honor to see the um, on the other day that you had made it in some charts in the UK. Yes, yes, yes. So I have to say hooray to the UK. Yes. They yes, get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, made they, me feel they, somewhat, somewhat proud I know, for that moment. I know, I know, I know. They, so that was they cool. are awesome. So tell us about that. Mm -hmm. So uh, the chart is called um, Soul Connoisseurs Top 20. Okay. Um, and so I made it into the chart um, probably before the actual release. Uh, they uh, bring in new artists, breaking um, artists. Mm -hmm. And then it just kept going up and up. And so last week I got um, my first notice that I had made it into the number one position. Wow. And so it's now there for the second week. And Excellent. so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that mm -hmm. it will continue to um, stay there. Mm -hmm. um, but they have a lot of wonderful artists. I uh, commend the UK for really embracing independent artists. Yeah, they like that. I um, must say they you know, the like US, eh, not so much, but mm -hmm. you know, I, you know, we do, but at a slower rate. Sure. You know what I mean? I Especially when that. you talk about terrestrial radio, they, mm -hmm. they're really not trying to hear, 
you know, independent artist, you have to be linked with, you know, a record company and have that whole machine behind you to get your music played on, you know, traditional right. radio. Mm -hmm. So, but the UK is much different. Yeah. So, they're, uh, they're very big. That's, yeah, yeah. you know, everybody has, everywhere has its pros and cons. Yes. But one of their pros is that they really do um, support um, yes. artists, artists and, and mm -hmm. all artists. You yes. know, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They're very open in regards right. to that. Yes. So I was glad to see that. Yes. That made me yes. feel yes. somewhat yes. sort of proud. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And there are some other charts out there that mm -hmm. it's on. Like there's a top 30 chart, um, uh, the UK Soul Charts. So they have a top 30 list. And so I'm on that chart. There's mm -hmm. another chart. I can't remember the name, but, you know, it's just, and then I got a, um, I noticed today France wants to get my music over there. So I'm like, oh, hey, okay, so you know what I'm saying? That makes me feel so happy. <laughs> yes, it really does. Yes. So I'm, I'm super excited. I'm really you know the glad prospects. For you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. generally so glad for you. Yes. Very happy for you. Thank you. So now I want to start with um, your your career, the videos that you have from mm -hmm. starting in 2013. Mm -hmm. So at this time, if we can see that first one, and then we can discuss it in some detail about that. Wonderful. It's like when I see that video, it reminds me how I used to be. I better not say I'm like that now. But when I go shopping, I would be dancing inside. <laughs> right? Yes. So tell us a little bit about that video. Well, um, I'll start by telling you what drove me to write the song. Sure. So um, I did substitute teaching in mm -hmm. Yonkers School. Okay. And I went into this um, pre-K class. And the teacher, she left work for the students to do, of mm -hmm. course. And so as I passed out the work, there was this one little boy, he was four years old, mm -hmm. and he looked up at me and he said, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and I was they like, will oh tell my you God, it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say to me? <laughs> but um, so I was like, you know, after I, of course, coaxed them into doing the work, um, that just stayed with me. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, what if we as adults, mm -hmm. when life came at us, because you know, life is, sure menacing sometimes and sometimes it's just so hard to deal with mm -hmm. but that little four-year-old looked up at me I could have been larger to life but he had no fear <laughs> no fear at all Wonderful. and so I thought you know sometimes we as adults we cave in to some of the hardships in we life mm -hmm. and so I said what if we didn't you know so feeling good was born out of that particular thought Excellent. process Lovely. so you know and so then of course I gathered up my neighbors mm -hmm. and we went and shot that video I got Excellent. a really uh, great uh, Lenny Lopez. He he was the director. He helped me to, of course, you know, set up the scenes and um, and then all the editing and all that stuff. So I didn't do it by myself. But right. all of them yeah. are very well done, I must yes. say. Thank you so much. Very nicely. The quality and everything mm -hmm. is very well mm -hmm. done. I think now we'll transition to the one that from 2014. Okay. We'll see that video now, please. Sure, 
Wonderful. And so what was the inspiration behind that one? Heartache, okay. of course. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, of course, all my songs are pretty much driven by, you know, personal experiences, um, things that I've seen my friends go through mm -hmm. or read about in the paper. Mm -hmm. um, but this one was definitely driven by a personal story of heartache and um, all you want, you know, and so instead of me kind of pining after him, right. you know, and calling and embarrassing myself, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I put in the song, pick you up the phone and call me, we can song. work it out, right? Lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it didn't work out quite like that, but I made the song have a happy ending where you can hear the guy calling. But lovely, for lovely. me personally, it didn't happen that way. Excellent. <laughs> and we'll move right into the one uh, for 2015. This is Miss Irene Renee coming at you with a smooth step production. Now, this video is the one that inspired the name Class Act in Music. Oh, no. Nice. Because it was just so classy. You just look so classy <laughs> on the chair, just so elegant. <laughs> And just Thank the music you. had me. I was just here sitting there moving from side oh, to oh side. And so that was what inspired the name of the show. Okay. Okay. And so share um, about that. Well, a couple things. So let me, uh, I want to just say thank you to the people that have helped me. Mm -hmm. So Robin Adams uh, co-produced that. Um, Lenny Lopez started off and then Robin helped me to uh, bring it all together. Um, Gwen uh, Tyson, beautiful woman. I shot most of that video at her home in New Rochelle. Okay. Um, so uh, the inspiration uh, for that song, again, a personal experience where I wanted to learn how to do step dancing. Okay. Right? And so there's this club in Mount Vernon called the AAC Club. Mm -hmm. And so Danny is the, the guy who uh, uh, teaches the classes mm -hmm. um, to, to step. And so I wanted to learn. There was like a ton of steps that I wanted to learn. But of course, it was in like a club bar place and there are guys there that they just want to see what new young lady is coming in. <laughs> <laughs> so there was this guy that had his eye on me but I had my eye on the dancers and I'm like, He's so to are to you dance. serious right now? I just want to dance. Right, right, right. So that's where, you know, part of the song says I'm um, trying to get my dance on, not take any numbers home. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> so anyway, that was, again, born out of a real life experience. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Okay, so the next one's 2016. When we met, I thought it was forever. Never knew the hurt you would put me. It's no secret you broke and left my heart in many pieces. Yeah. I tried to keep all this pain inside. Unsuccessful, many strangers saw me cry. But I pray, Mama, I finally made it through. It was a long, hard road I traveled. To heal my heart, to heal my heart. So anyway, I say, I forgive you. Now, this one I can see uh, many people could relate to these kinds of situations, and so mm -hmm. that's a very um, mm -hmm. coming from a very deep personal space. Yes, very deep. Um, that song came out of a personal experience. Mm -hmm. um, 
so not as sad. It it kind of brings out a little sadness for mm -hmm. me when I think about the pain that I went through or the journey that I went through right. to get to a place of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. um, but that song was written when I finally realized that I, I was at peace Lovely. and that I could forgive the person that had, you know, caused a tremendous amount of pain mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I say, I tell people that sometimes forgiveness is more selfish. It will be lead, yeah. Right, because sometimes it's about letting go so that we can live, mm -hmm. right? It's for your own survival. That's it. So that it song, releases you. Absolutely, from bondage, <laughs> right? Exactly. From that hatred. It, I had a friend who told me that um, hatred is almost like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. So <laughs> that resonated <laughs> deeply. That couldn't um, have been said any better. Right. So that song was my way of... Um, just putting it out there mm -hmm. as a message to other women right. who are going around and um, they're angry at the man and mm -hmm. they're using the child um, sure. to, you know, retaliate and the child suffers. And mm -hmm. um, I just wanted it to be a message, mm -hmm. right, that, that we can let go exactly. of all that craziness sure. and live. You know, mm -hmm. you never know what blessings are in store for you, but blessings. you're holding on to such bitterness and, and anger. And it's years sometimes. I mean... Um, I think about other people that I wrote that song for within my family, mm. right? And I saw how, you, see you what know, it does the, to them. you know. If you don't let go, what <sighs> it does to you. It yeah. destroys you. It, it does, so. Mm -hmm. You don't know the, de the depth of the destroying. Absolutely. And so to present day, this is the one that I saw you perform, and this I really is a beautiful um, song and video, okay. so we'll show present day, 2017. <laughs> I wish I could have played the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, where am I going to cut this? Yeah. I have to cut this at some point. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a very, I like the way it starts. You know, it doesn't matter whether you're black or white. You know, wrong from right, and mm -hmm. it's just a very deep message that one can contemplate on. And it's not about singling out anybody. Right. It's just about showing right from wrong. You right. have to see it's a boiling pot mm -hmm. that's about to flow over. So right. let's address right. it. Let's face right. it. Absolutely. And so, just go into detail um, about this. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. uh, that song was in the making for some time mm -hmm. um, because I make references to sure. uh, a lot of things that have occurred, mm -hmm. um, and you know, it just it just sat on my heart heavy, you know, and I wanted to have one of those songs that was deeply meaning for a lot of people. And again, right. um, I, I like to use my platform sure. for messages, right? And messages of healing, exactly. right? And yeah. I, I like to say R&B soul for mm -hmm. your soul, mm -hmm. right? So um, there's a lot of other songs out there that uh, my music just doesn't compete with, right? right? They're kind of in a lane and I'm in a lane and I want to stay in a lane of positivity, 
right? Healing. Good, lovely. Um, and that's one of those songs, right? Mm -hmm. It's a universal message. Mm -hmm. um, I think we all can relate to it. It doesn't matter what your origin, your, your culture, your color of your skin, no matter any of that, right? Mm -hmm. We all know right from wrong. We, sure. we were taught that very early, right? Mm -hmm. And so if, if you didn't get it when you're young, you have uh, information now today in the, in the uh, information age right. <laughs> to be able to discern exactly. what's right the and what's wrong. Discern, right? Right. So, we I mean, I think our powers <laughs> love. to do these things. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. you know, it's about love. It's, you mm -hmm. know, like, I, you know, I was in, had an interview and um, they asked me, what did I wish for? And I said, it's a cliche, but it's actually true. World peace. Because mm -hmm. when you don't have peace, what do you have? You Chaos. Don't. Right? Just um, so. And so you feel for something that is inside of you. Yeah. It's an experience that you've had. It's mm -hmm. like, I know that there's peace out there. Yeah. And that's what right. I want. And so when we say we want something, it's because it's something we've experienced. Absolutely. Absolutely. Coming so. from a place from inside. And mm -hmm. so, Miss Irene Renee, mm -hmm. please tell us where we can contact you, phone number, email, all those yes. wonderful things. So I have a website. It's, mm -hmm. it's currently uh, being updated, but it's www.missirenerenee. So that's M-S-I-R-E-N-E-R-E-N-E.com. Uh, mm -hmm. um, my uh, email address is miss.irenerenee at gmail.com. Okay. So you can send me, um, you know, you can contact me through my email. I mean, I'm sorry, my email and my website. Good. Uh, and all social media platforms for the most part, Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Lovely. Yes. Great. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, Miss Irene Renee, it, I'm just so glad that you're here. I'm I really you. am. And that you're sharing because it's like, you know, it's one thing to be musical, but I can see it's coming from a very spiritual place and you just want to share your feelings, your inner feelings, your mm -hmm. inner thoughts mm -hmm. of um, how things have to change. It can't stay the same. You've shared it through your personal experiences. Mm -hmm. You've shared it through experiences that have come in front of mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. that you say, no, how can I talk about this? Right. How can I share this? Right. You know, right. we have two album covers that we would want to share as okay. well. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first album cover is a serendipity, uh, yes. serendipitous. Yes experience uh, so uh, that was the first album Lovely. Um, I had a number of producers on there um, I'm totally grateful for all of their help uh, Marcus McCray mm -hmm. is a producer that transferred over to the second album okay. uh, so uh, I'm trying to think of the names Kevin Hill was a producer on this one mm -hmm. uh, Dennis Johnson he also was a producer on on that particular album uh, so that was my first shot at it, you know, and so I'm very proud of that progress mm -hmm. um, because I, I tried to start before and kind of totally chickened out on uh, trying to do an independent project, but that one finally materialized. Mm -hmm. uh, and so then we, you know, went on to the second project, and I'll just uh, share with you, Gilby Small Jr. Mm -hmm. uh, was the lead producer on the second album. Uh, Marcus McCray came back on. We okay. had uh, Wayne Anderson also, um, Scribby, uh, Timothy Scribby Hunter, mm -hmm. and Ray Legend. So a number of uh, very talented producers. Um, uh, Kobe did the mastering. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to also acknowledge Ozzy Scott, who was the uh, director uh, for the I Forgive You mm -hmm. uh, video. So okay. he did a phenomenal job. Um, and I'll just say that on Facebook we garnered 113,000 views on that particular Fantastic. video, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm proud of that. Excellent. And then we have another album cover. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ubiquitous Soul. Ubiquitous Soul. So Lovely. that was the, um, or is the most recent um, mm -hmm. release, uh, June 30th. Um, and I, I just mentioned all of the producers that came on board, and of course, it, that's the particular one that reached the number one slot in the UK. Excellent. So, um, hopefully, you know, it'll continue to do great things. Mm -hmm. um, and we're working, I'm talking with various people, trying mm -hmm. to put together some tour ideas, and um, so we, you know, our, my work is cut out for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, that's good. Yes. That's good. All good things, right? Mm -hmm. So where did the name come from, Ubiquitous, the Ubiquitous Soul? Yes. Where did that um, come from? Ubiquitous means everywhere, mm -hmm. right? And so soul 
Um, so my album is soulful. Um, it has messages, and so I want it to resonate all over the world, and mm -hmm. so that's why I chose that. And I, I'm a teacher Good. as well, right. so I love words. <laughs> I love words, and so you know, um, your, your, your the children in your classroom <laughs> must have so much fun with you. I can see oh, that. Goodness, yes. yes. So, mm -hmm. so that's where it came from, and um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm excited mm. about the prospects. Mm, good, and there's many yeah. prospects because you're 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 you know you're going about it the right way. You're sharing from a personal space, and mm. so that people can resonate and mm. relate yes. to what it is that you're saying because it's um, makes no sense to you know share something that's over the top of people's yeah. heads, not right. current, uh, right. not um, you know. Um, uh, I would say in an empathy way how mm -hmm. you're sharing because mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. saying I've experienced it and this is right. how I'm sharing right. Right. and so you can also share in the same way. Mm -hmm. So now as we wind down, um, if anybody um, watching you, what would you say to them in regards to you know your, the magic that you have um, created? Um, well, if someone wanted to um, pursue their dream, mm -hmm. the first thing that I would tell them is that you don't need permission. <laughs> I love right? that. Do it, <laughs> right? And so if I told you all the sacrifices that I made, um, you would probably run for the hills. Mm -hmm. But that's my my personal experience sure. and what I, I thought it was worth it, mm -hmm. right? So um, I'm, I'm on a journey. And so the, the one thing that I just, you know, I have to emphasize is that had I waited for somebody to give me permission, mm -hmm. i.e. the record companies, I would be sitting and I wouldn't have this wonderful conversation with sure, you. I wouldn't sure. have met, you know, the wonderful mm -hmm. people. I haven't met them in person, but speaking to the people over in the UK. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So sometimes our, our dreams don't unpackage the way we want them to, mm -hmm. right? But they can. They right. can reveal itself in, mm -hmm. in a, a myriad of ways. And so I would just say for anyone that's out there that's interested in pursuing their dreams, just don't feel like you have to wait for somebody to either finance it mm -hmm. or give you the permission or the green light or whatever. You do it. Perfectly said. Perfectly you said. You do it. You just play your part. You have to yes, know your absolutely. part. Absolutely. Because it's inside of you. Absolutely. And so you know nobody needs to give you permission about right. your part. Yes. Or tell you you shouldn't or should should or right. shouldn't do something. Right. So that's some very yeah. good advice, Miss yeah. Irene Renee. Yes. Lovely. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And so as we come to the end of the show, I want to thank you, thank and I you. appreciate, and I wish you the much, much blessings. Thank you. Because there's no such thing as luck. <laughs> so many blessings. <laughs> thank You'll you. You'll do well. Thank I know you. that. Thank you so much. And to the viewers, your level of consciousness is the gateway to the future. Thank you. Thank you.